Outdoor Readers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We cover everything outdoor adventure across North America, including gear reviews, hiking and snowshoe trails, and of course, unboxings of our gear box. Today we have a gear review focusing on a cozy winter concept called Fruitsliff. Of course, it's a concept from Scandinavia, similar to Higgy. Huga? My Danish relatives would be so ashamed. It means free air living or open air living. It's all about just spending time outside in nature whenever and however you can. I love this because it's a really inclusive look at what it means to be an outdoor adventurer, especially in the time of, I don't want to say it, <laughs> COVID-19. <laughs> Whether you're out there scaling mountains and backcountry skiing, or sitting on your deck listening to the birds, maybe going for a long walk in the rain over lunchtime, getting out into nature is enriching for your body, soul, and mind. Two quick disclaimers. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Some of these may be affiliate links, which means Explore makes a small commission when you purchase through these links. We really appreciate if you are gonna purchase these items that you do use the links below. Thank you. Second, all of these items were gifted to us, which means the companies or PR agencies gave them to us to review. Okay, let's get into the gear review. The first gear item I'm wearing, Smartwool's Intranet Merino 200 Crew and the matching bottoms. Both items are lightweight, super movable, but still feel fitted in the right spots, especially in the elbows and knees, which are ribbed for durability. It's made of 53% Merino wool, 45% polyester, and 2% elastine, which isn't a bad blend. It's not pure merino wool, but as a base layer, having that synthetic material actually makes it stronger and helps it dry quicker, especially in wet climates like Vancouver, where I am. Wool, of course, has the antimicrobial properties and allows for better breathability, which I really like in a garment that's directly against my skin because I'll be sweating out there, but I also want to stay warm and dry in the winter time. Another thing to consider that polyester is made from petroleum, plastics, and chemicals. This, of course, gets into our water system when we wash them. It's become sort of a controversial material in the outdoor adventure industry, and I tend to look for recycled polyester instead of regular polyester. If I was being really picky, the inseam on the pant is a little bit short for me. It's 31 inches and I need at least 33, but I am also six feet tall. <laughs> I also wish the pants had pockets because who doesn't like pants with pockets? <laughs> Women's wear seriously needs more pockets, more pockets. If you have ultra sensitive skin, you may find the internet a little itchy. However, you likely have the same problem with a lot of wool products. I have two backpacks to compare from Marmot. This is the Compressor Plus and the Compressor Star. Both packs have sternum straps, waist straps, and two mesh side pockets. They're made of ripstop, nylon, and polyester, but that's about where the similarities end. The Compressor Plus is the more lightweight version, I'd say. It has a capacity of 20 liters. It has a ton of pockets, including the flap style closure. The back panel is removable and can double as a seat in the outdoors. With the back panel removed, the whole backpack can fold up into itself, into the lid, so it's ultra portable. The Compressor Star feels like the more high-end version. It has a volume of 28 liters. It's still ultra light, but the back panel is not removable and the back is way more padded and breathable. I also really appreciate the padding on the shoulder straps and waistband. It has even more pockets, including a hip belt pocket, and places to strap on gear like trekking poles and your GPS. My favorite feature is actually the load lifter straps that can tighten to bring the upper part of the backpack closer to your back. I find this really helps me from feeling like I'm tipping backwards. It's a little thing, but something I always look for in a backpack is a place to hang and thread through my hydration bladder. Both backpacks have that. Lastly, I received some super cool kicks from Vans. These are hybrids, which I love because I love when one item can serve multiple purposes. They fit like a sneaker, but the high tops offer wonderful ankle support. I wouldn't quite call them a hiking boot because I'm not convinced that the lugs are deep enough to provide adequate traction on more rugged terrain. I will say I tested the ultra range on some short hikes, slippery trails, and even trail runs. This is the Skate High MTE. Both shoes feature a warm fleece lining and an ultra cush midsole, which is super comfortable. It has a heat retention layer that really keeps your toes cozy and warm in the winter. 
The rubber toe cap and tongue and heel poles are a nod to Vans snowboard boot designs. I would not recommend this as a backpacking boot, but if you're living that free air life and you want to hit the trails on your lunch break, this shoe is super versatile and can totally take you from the streets to the trails. Thank you so much for watching this gear review. I hope it was fun and informative. Please leave a comment with what you'd like to see us review next. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And remember, we give away a free Live the Adventure Club gear box every month to our YouTube subscribers. So it's worth it. Seriously, subscribe. <laughs> now get out there and live the fruit sloof. You tell me, what do they feel like on your feet? They feel cozy. They feel cozy, They're okay. Warm. Cozy and warm. They're wa they feel waterproof. I'm walking through some wet and soggy ground. And my feet feel toasty and warm. Nice. Toasty, warm, wet, soggy. That's what I got from you. Perfect. Do they feel like a hiking boot? No, they feel like a sneaker, but I feel like I could go a little bit more off-road. Off-road. <laughs> <laughs> The all terrain. Yeah, they're more transitioning boots, eh? And they have great ankle support. Nice. That's much better than a normal runner. Mm -hmm. And they're styling. They're just... Camo. You almost didn't see them. <laughs> Excuse me, where'd you get that backpack? It's from Marmot. Wow, it looks really comfy. You know what? It's pretty comfy. It's pretty cool. It has this removable part on the back so it can actually fold up into the hood itself. Wow, that's it's amazing. Like this small. I love the color. Thanks, it really blends in with the environment.